so on this trip, we have actually, we're here in Vegas and we're going to two different resorts. Basically, we're gonna show you both resorts since we're here and we wanted to see what we could expect between somewhat basic, just clean hotel room and a newer resort that was just built uh, about two years ago. So we're gonna show you that now. Busy like most people are, we have so little time, a budget, and have big dreams to travel and explore. By taking adventures in Orlando, our hometown, and traveling the world, we plan on making those dreams a reality. To see what's next, subscribe and welcome to our journey. You never know where we might end up. So yesterday when we came into the parking garage, it was $4 an hour, today it's $5 an hour. But uh, one thing we did learn, if you're bringing your own car, park in valet because they charge half the price in valet which I believe it's $15 and if you were to self park it's $30 a night so keep that in mind so go to the valet whatever find out whatever is cheapest generally it's valet which is weird because you would think it'd be opposite but valet at circa is cheaper than self park note all right so we're just getting to circa and now we're getting checked in real quick which is on the main floor of the casino. Actually, it's a couple of different levels, so I'll try to explain that in just a minute. All right, uh, so our room number is uh, 1601. Nate's actually taking a video right now. <laughs> but here is the bathroom. It is absolutely stunning. It has one of these big mirrors that you can zoom in and say hi. <laughs> um, has your blow dryer and comes with your shampoo, conditioners, and body wash. Absolutely stunning, it's really beautiful. This room is like super, super spacious, which is really great. This is actually overlooking the pool, which if you haven't seen Circa's pool, it's massive. And so uh, this is our view. So. I don't know if you can actually really make out because of the reflection, but that is a massive, massive uh, screen. Football is on right now, obviously. Um, and then the pools are currently heated. We're here uh, in the winter time, so. But that's really nice that the pools are heated because a lot of the places you go in Vegas, they don't have their whole entire pool open because it's not technically seasoned. So they shut down majority of the pools. But here at Circa, no. They keep those open and they get them hot. So a hot ton of seating. And then obviously Nate's gonna get our bag un un uh, unpacked. So over here, obviously you got your little closet. They have a steamer. And then obviously you have uh, a safe safety box, excuse me. And what's really nice, you have a fridge. So normally in most, a lot of the uh, resorts or hotels that you come here in Vegas on this trip, they generally have a fridge that is full of beverages, but they don't have it here at Circa or at least our room doesn't. So I don't, I don't know. But we obviously, a lot of the times when we come to Vegas, there are a few select things that we make sure to bring before we even get unpacked. And I'll put that list down below in the description box or I'll actually put it on our website. I have a whole list of things that we must get. Number one of those things is waters. <laughs> okay, so now that we've given you the room tour, we grabbed ourselves a beer, which Make sure you go and purchase some beers and stuff before you actually go down to the casino floor, unless you like to gamble and sit and get the free drinks. But we wanted to pre-party and we got some beers. Now we're headed down to show you the rest of the resort. Real quick before we explore the rest of the resort, I got two requests for you. One, if you find this video informative, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It actually really helps us grow a lot faster. And two, did you know we can actually book this resort for you? Yep, I'll put that link down below in the description box. Okay, on with the tour. Okay, so we are headed to the stadium swim. I don't know if you can actually hear me or not, but we brought our beers and we had to put them in a cup before we go. So when you come to the stadium swim, it's either $20 a day, right? 
um, if you're not actually staying here, but you can still get in um, for right now. Obviously, the prices can change, but basically, you're going to need, if you're staying here, you're going to need your room key and your driver's license to get in, and then they give you a bracelet, so then you can go in and come out as many times as you want for a period of 24 hours. By the looks of these hallways, probably in the summertime, this place gets packed. I mean, this is legit. It, it's 21 and older resort or hotel, whatever you want to call it. So obviously this is the ticket entrance. Oh, cool. And there are lockers if you need to put your stuff in. That's him on the screen, but basically the background is the actual sports car area, which is very so cool. So with obviously you saw the second floor of the sports viewing area. Now I'm gonna pop in over here to this first floor. There's actually stadium seating. Just so cool. Look at this. Since we're on the topic of bars, let's quickly go over the food options as well. There are a total of five restaurants and a coffee shop right on site, which one of the restaurants is actually out on Fremont Street, not inside. And even though they only had five options, overall we really liked the food and we had excellent service each time. And right below Vicky is Barry's Downtown Prime House. It's a really good steak, but basically you find Vicky. That is Berries. So obviously there's multiple different little clubs and bars throughout, lots of tables, lots of games, whatever you want. And of course, one of the coolest pieces about Circa is that it is connected to Fremont Street, which let's walk outside and show you guys So we are going up to the 60th floor right now to the Legacy Club. And basically, before you can even get into there, there is a dress code, just FYI. And it's all on the website, it's all over. And when you actually get to the entrance of the Legacy Club, wow, I cannot speak. Um, they'll basically check for your reservations and that kind of thing. Yes, you can get in without reservations, but it's highly recommended to make reservations. This is beautiful up here. It's 
it's pretty quiet. They just opened. It's four o'clock, so we're trying to get the sunset. Forty-five. <laughs> At Circa is cheaper than Self Park. Nope. 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 That. <laughs> yes, I want you to do a box jump. Oh no. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> what, did you like five of what did you? Okay, five. One. This is a. What is? What's the name of the room? It's a junior suite. Junior suite. Two? You can't use your hands! Uh, why not? <laughs> You're cheating! What's not a big deal? Oh, Veronica! <laughs> cut off. Your cut off is wasted. This is what happens when you forget your sunglasses when you come to Vegas. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my shirt. <laughs> right now to the Lakey Sleep Cup. Lula, we are going to the 60th floor right now to the Lakey <laughs> We're going to... <laughs> you two will never know, you could use the 45s. <laughs> But this is going on our bloops. YouTube will never know. <laughs> and as always, if you guys enjoyed our video, give us a big thumbs up. It actually really helps. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. Smash that bell, click all, and then you'll be notified when we go on our next adventure. See you guys later.